Well, hello guys. Welcome to Sky Factory 2.4 Dev with Mini Kiona and Little Noah. Hi. And they asked me to show them how to make po power in Sky Factory 2. So we're going to come straight in and we're going to make some power. It's, we're not making blocks, we're making power. Can we make power? Are we going to be able to get away with making power? Or are you guys going to distract me? I'm not going to distract you. Alright. Distract you is that we're not going to have right. no power. Well, let's go down. Okay, hold on. Making sure everything's right. Yep. What about magnet mode? Magnet mode is on. Let's put up some random stuff in our inventory, and we're going to make power. Are we up already? It's not that simple. Just can't get it done right away. Jeez, boy. Okay. So we're going to need some materials. Now, if you yeah. notice, I already have some power right here. I have a sterling generator. But we're going to get into automated power. Automated power, you say? Yes, we're gonna do it up top though. We're going to need sterling generators, which are right here. We're gonna show you. First, we need some stone. stone. So we have nine pieces of stone. There we go. We have 22 pieces of stone. We're gonna use the chisel to turn that into stone bricks. Because we're going to need stone bricks. And we're going to empty out some of our inventory. Because we have a bunch of stuff in our inventory that we don't need. Talk about doing this unprepared. Yeah, let's just empty out everything and start from scratch. Boom, 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 boom. This is your basic power, okay? Your basic power. And actually, we're going to need those torches. We're going to need some... Regular cobblestone. Because we got to make furnaces. There's our cobblestone. A stack should do. We're gonna go up here and grab our rubber wood because it only makes three wood. And that makes it a lot easier for the pistons. So, there we go. And I apologize for mini Kiona in the background. She's all excited. Are you excited? Nobody can hear your head rattle. Say yes, I'm excited. That was just sounded so exciting. Alright, we're gonna need some iron to make the piston. We're doing four, right? So we're gonna need four pieces of iron for that. Give me that. Four pistons! Well, let's get our iron smelted. If I can remember where my freaking furnace is. There it is. Hey, look, I had a piece of gold in there. So we get that going. Also, so we're gonna need some basic gears and furnaces. So we want four I furnaces, like right? Four. Do, do, do. four furnaces. Is we that, got that done. Is that why you have the cobblestone? Yes, that's why I got the cobblestone. You're also gonna need the cobblestone to make the pistons. Oh, I already have pistons. It's like we only need four of this rubber wood for the pistons, but yeah. Excess up there. This is just the start of it, man. There are several ways to make an automated. Why did I do that? Automated charcoal thing, charcoal tree farm. We're making a video with your talking in it. Isn't that good enough? Let's make the four pistons. I'm done. I'm already done with the pistons. That's way too much travel, but oh well. Give me that. We're still gonna need those, so. Let's get a couple of regular pieces of wood. Actually, I think I only need one. No, we need four. Da, 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 da. All right. Maybe that was too many sticks. Yeah, that was too many sticks. Oh, well. Thank you. That's how you make the basic gears. 
There we go. That's how you make them. But, yeah, I need more cobblestone. <laughs> we need 16 more cobblestone. So it was the right amount of sticks. It was the wrong amount of cobblestone. Wow. So, because we're going to need eight gears total to do four of these. Okay. So we got our bricks. We got our furnaces. We got our pistons. And we have our gears. Little Noah is kind of following around. He keeps running over to his computer, which is behind my computer. So that's why you hear him all excited and you hear the little feet tapping on the floor. That is how we're going to run our basic tower. Hold on, I need to eat. But our basic power doesn't start with that. Well, yeah, it does. It does and it doesn't. Because now we need to figure out what farming tool we're going to be using. We can do it Mine Factory Reloaded, we can do it Ender I.O., or we could do it Forestry. Well, is Forestry in this? I don't think Forestry's in this. Yeah, Forestry isn't in this, uh, if I spelled it right. Yeah, Forestry isn't in this. So we have Mine Factory Reloaded, or we have Ender I.O. So what I'm going to do right now, I am going to see exactly how much this is going to take. See, this requires making more tools and having more available. So we're not going the Ender I O way. We're gonna go straight old Mine Factory Reloaded. So we're going to need a planter. No, 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 no. Which we're gonna need clay, another piston, and some plastic. So let's go back up. How do you get plastic, you say? Well, I'll show you. Over here we have some raw rubber from the rubber trees. Rubber trees! Which, we should probably plant some more rubber trees real quick. Da -da -da. So we planted our rubber trees. But that's not a big deal. Okay. So we're gonna need plastic. We're gonna need clay. Which, if you notice, I got clay up in the top right here. We're also going to need... Another piston, a factory machine, which is really easy. You need stone, so we got to burn some more stone. You're yeah, too, stone. You're too ahead. Oh, we have two fire. No, I don't think that would work. I'm not too ahead. Right now we're talking about what we need. I just, I, All right. I, I, uh, to make a planter. I just made the gears. That's how far, far ahead you are. Okay, type in sterling generator. Okay. And you're in any eye and click R on them or click on them if you're not in cheat mode. Why do you type that? Face paw moment. You can catch up shortly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like I said, we're going to need some stone, so let's just take a couple stacks of cobblestone. As Noah falls, our little Noah falls and hurts himself. We're gonna burn a stack over here. Ooh, food. To turn into stone. So what we, we need flower plots, plots, pots. We're basically going to be using a few here. Yeah, that comes out to three. Our divisible by three. Stop shaking my chair. We're gonna smelt these up into bricks. While we're waiting for our stone and bricks, we're gonna explain some more. Oh, e. So we're going to need the planter. This is what's gonna plant our saplings. Okay, we're, our pistons, everything else we need. Right now we're working on getting our clay made, our clay bricks made for our clay pots, and our stone made for our factory block machine. But we also need plenty of plastic. That's where the rubber comes in. What do you mean that's where the rubber comes in? Well, what we're going to do right now is we're going to make a couple extra furnaces. Because we're going to need them anyway. I uh, can't make them in that crafting grid. Uh, where's the... Oh, I see. My mouse has a double-clicking problem. Sorry. Need a new mouse. So we're just going to plop these down right here right now and half a stack of charcoal in this one. This will be our... Oh, we need divisible by three. There we go. 
There we go, now it's divisible by three and four. So this is how we're going to make our rubber. Okay. Which rubber is important. If you haven't even gotten rubber, you get rubber from rubber trees. Uh, rubber saplings can get from shifting dirt. Sifting dirt, sorry. And that's where you get your rubber pieces, your raw rubber. Which apparently, yeah, it's taking its sweet time. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Right, let's go check on how our stone's go doing. We don't need a lot of stone. And we can get to smelting other things if we... Oh, come on. Give me at least 16 so I feel better. Ah, 15 will do. And if you're wondering why my inventory says 25, is I changed that. That's the only config I changed to where it goes by 5 levels instead of 10. And how's this going? That's done. We're going to need more iron, too. So, where's my iron? Excuse you, little Noah. Little Noah needs some cough syrup. I don't even know how many I have. We're going to make eight more. Actually, we're doing this all the wrong way. What do you mean you're doing it all the wrong way? I'm wasting iron at this point. Hold on. See, I'm wasting iron at this point. I have a pulverizer. I understand that most of y'all won't have a pulverizer at this point if you're working on basic power. But I have one, so I should use it. I believe these sounds can be turned off in the configs as well, which... Maybe I'll show y'all how to do that later. This is an instructional video. Alright. Now that we've had some raw rubber made, or rubber bars made, we take the rubber and we put it into another furnace, or we can put it back in the same furnace if you finish burning your rubber. And this is how you will make your plastic dust. For lack of a better term. Uh, I'll tell you the actual name. Raw plastic. This is how you make your raw plastic, is you're burning rubber bars that you've burnt out of raw rubber. So we're just going to keep track on both of them and we're going to keep updating because I don't have them to auto feed. Because right now we're going based off, you have the bare necessities. You have a furnace, you have your raw rubber, and you have your clay. Okay? Oh, and you have your saplings and all that, you know. There's a reason why I wanted it divisible by three and four and you'll see shortly why. How is my rubber looking? This one's almost done. Little Noah's a little excited. He's been asking me to make, tell him how to make power for a while now, so. And Mini Kiona's already given up. She's over back at her computer being all excited about other things. <laughs> okay. Those are done. Well, the rubber bars are done. We got our iron ingots. We had stuck some rubber wood in one of these chests, didn't we? Yeah. It's just easier to do it that way. I think I'm gonna need two pistons. So let's just prepare to make two pistons. Da 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 da. Da, da, da. One, two. There's our two pistons. Oh, we need to make the flower pots too. Flower pots. This is almost done. Hurry up so we can get started on this part. I guess for now, while we're waiting for this, we can set up the four sterling generators. So what are we going to use the four sterling gen generators for? I'll show you. I'll show you. And we can also pick up this because of the fact that we're going to be needing that here in the process. 
Our last piece of raw plastic is coming. It's burning. Okay. Now that we have our 36 raw plastic, we can go over to our crafting grid over here. We could probably do this in our regular crafting grid too. Yeah. So we're gonna do uh, four by four. You see that? How you take four, it makes four blah, 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 blah. And that gets you your plastic sheets. To make a planter, if you notice, we need a factory machine block and three plastic sheets. To make a factory machine block, we need three stone and three sheets, and that makes three. So that's how we're gonna start. We're gonna go with the three sheets and the three stone. So we have our three factory machine blocks. We're going to be using two of them in this process. First things first, I'm just gonna shift click this question mark to put it in my grid to get what I need right here and we have our planter made our planter is just one of the things that's what's gonna automated automatically plant the trees for us now I believe it's called a harvester yes, yes there's our harvester right there so we're going to need shears another factory machine block it used to require axes but I guess it's not a requirement in sky factory oh so we can go ahead and we Oh, we can't shift click because we don't have the shears. Let's make the shears. And we'll ignore that random extra iron ingot because of my double click. It's not shift clicking. Why is it not shift clicking? I don't know. We're just going to go ahead and manually put it in then. Fine. Be that way. And that is the start to it. By default, these only do a 3x3 three three grid. We're going to need some dirt, which I have some. Somewhere around here. We're going to need nine dirt for this process. So I'm gonna, ow, not fall. I'm going to make a little home for this dirt real quick. Oh, I can't jump on top of those. I don't know where the back is here, so forgive me if I keep looking or if I hit shift. And obviously that was not enough slabs. Don't worry. We'll finish it off up there. Eventually I'll have an elevator instead of a water spout to get up. But we're not that far because we were too busy playing with our barn as you can see over there. Let me get some more slabs here. And most of this island has been built on stream, so. Very little of it I've done offline. So we have our little housing, for lack of a better term, for our dirt. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you hit F7, not F7, that was F9 that I hit. If you hit F7, that was F8. There we go. You'll see that things can actually spawn on here. We're going to be fixing that too. I want it over there. And the easiest way for me to put it over there is give myself a place to stand on. There we go. I'm back over here. Damn it. That's our harvester. That's what's going to be cutting the trees down. As you can see, though, as I said before, things can still spawn on top of it. And we are working on fixing that right now. That's the whole reason we still had our torches on us, but I don't think we have enough fences for this. Cause I was just gonna fence around it, but. Hold on. What I'm going to do temporarily until I fence around it is I'm gonna do this part. Put a fence right here. And a torch, if I can buy my torches. Oh, wow. Well, that's good to know. I don't have a lot of stuff on me right now, so I'm just improvising. Trying to do this as quickly as possible. There we go. We'll finish off the fencing later. If you notice, it's gonna be fenced around like the rest of the places. And that's our harvester setup. I'm gonna go down here, take the damage, blah, blah, blah. Here, hold the torch for me. I don't like things being lit up. 
Next we're gonna need to set up is we're going to need our planter. Our planter is going to sit right in the middle of the three by three grid of dirt. So that is your basic setup right there. We're also going to need something for the saplings and the, the saplings and the wood to be shot into so we can pull out of it. Which that's as easy as making a chest. I don't know why I grabbed four, I only need two. Oh well. So we're gonna make a chest real quick. For that to be shot into. But right now, this is not gonna work with the way it's set up because of the fact that we're we don't have power going to these machines. That is where you have to get the initial stuff set up. You need power cables and a way to transfer all these items, correct? See, I want to shear the leaves because of the fact that I'd like to have uh, more to make dirt. But right now we're going to set it to no. So now we need to get into making the conduits because I like to use Ender IO conduits for this. Which we're going to need clay, as you see we have clay. Let's just break that up real quick. We're going to need sand and cobblestone. Or not cobblestone, gravel. Which we have plenty of cobblestone on us. So we're gonna go up here, which I saw that I put my hammer inside that the tinker's table over here. The tool station. And we're just gonna make some sand and gravel real quick. I believe I need two sand and six gravel, so. That should be enough. <laughs> Just to get started. I'm gonna show you how to make the conduits. Okay. To make the conduit binder, uh, that's not a crafting table. Now, if only my son would stop shaking my chair while I do this. You're gonna take your clay, and your sand, and your gravel, and you're not gonna double click. And that'll make your conduit, or your binder compo composite. Which, trust me, eight's not gonna be enough. So we're User gonna go down. Your channel. <laughs> Ignore the team speak, because I'm sitting in an AFK channel in team speak. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna break this up. Thank you for Bane Miner. One, two, three, four. We're gonna make enough binder composite to actually have excess. Oops. There we go. Two more clay. There's our binder composite. But what can you do with binder composite? Absolutely nothing. And when I mean absolutely nothing, is you have to smelt it first. So we're gonna let that smelt and we're gonna work on the things that also we're going to need. We're going to need item conduits and power conduits. To make an item conduit, we need, we're just going to type conduit and we're going to ignore my little boy screaming like a little girl. So this is where we just type in our conduits and see what we need. We're going to need an item conduit, a basic item conduit, which means we need pulsating iron ingots. I luck out, I already have pulsating iron that I've gotten from the mob farm. Otherwise, you're going to need to be making it with an alloy smelter from Ender IO. So, let me just find that conduit, or those, there it is. Oh, it's vibrant alloy, so I guess you're gonna hear my daughter scream and see me make this uh, problem is I don't have any ender pearls so we're going to pause this and wait until I get some ender pearls ender pearls, ender pearls and then we'll see you shortly we're back I checked some of my uh, loot pouches and I found some pulsating iron so we have some pulsating iron thank you loot bags let me just eat up and waste some of that food, in fact. We have our pulsating iron. We're going to use that to make our iron nuggets. 
And we're also going to be working on energy conduits. Energy conduits, I know I don't have conductive iron, so either way, I still have to show you how to make... How to make the conductive iron. What you're going to need is an alloy smelter. Right here. Alloy smelter. Which is going to need quite a bit of iron. We're going to need that. A cauldron. We're going to need... Three furnaces. Oh, the basic capacitor. I always forget about the basic capacitor. Darn you! Well, we might as well work on getting that up too. Going to need some copper. We almost have, I think we have enough iron. We're also going to need some redstone. And I believe I have gold nuggets. There's two right there, which means there's a few. Yeah, we're good, we're good. We're gonna make a couple capacitors at the street, but oh well. Yeah, we might as well make two, because we have, we're gonna have that copper for two. And we have the gold for two. Thank you, Once again. Oh, I forgot that it makes more than, I think it, how much does it smelt into? We'll see here in a second. It smelts into four, as you can see. So we have plenty, we have plenty of conduit binder by the end of it. All right, while we wait for that, we can at least get started on showing you how to make the item conduits. We take the pulsating iron nuggets and we put them in a row like that. No. Then we take our conduit binder, like so, and that makes eight item conduits per one. So we have plenty of item condiments, condiments, conduits. Would help if I learned how to walk too. Ignore the noise in my background and connect these two up. We want this to always extract, and this is going to always insert, or it's going to insert. I might have to make an item filter right now. It's sorry about hitting the mic. Right now, it's not a big deal because I'm going to do a, an easy way to do this. The easy way to do this is to take the slab that we already have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a barrel because we're gonna have a barrel to store the charcoal in. It's easier than making, um, it's easier than going ahead and making the item filters, but you can do it the item filter way. So we're gonna take this and we're, this is going to be strictly for charcoal. Now to ensure that only charcoal gets into this, we're gonna take the charcoal we put in here out and we're going to stick it in there and we're going to lock it. So this is only charcoal. Hold on, I need to go up a height. I cannot see. I'm trying to click on this. It's not working. It's not working. There we go. We want this to always insert as well. Let me just break these down. And that's how we're going to start this. We need one for wood. I am, don't mind me. I forgot about the wood. We're gonna go make another barrel real quick. Let me just go get regular wood to stick in there and lock it. So it'll always be wood going in there. Like I said, you can do this with item filters to where you don't have to have the barrels. And it would make it easier. But yes. So what we're going to do now is we need to be able to suck the 
charcoal from here. When it makes charcoal, obviously. In fact, we don't even need that to insert up there, but this is going to insert. There we go. That's the machine, machine, machine chassis for the thingy magic. The thingy magic. I can't think of what it's called. The alloy smelter. Give me that. Make my crescent hammer before I forget, which means I'm not gonna have enough iron. I told you, it takes a lot of iron. Which I'm gonna just skip ahead. Or not skip ahead, we're gonna go ahead and just make a little bit more iron so we're sure to have enough. Oh, never mind, we have iron right there. What takes me so long to get a new video out is because I never have free time. So what were we making? We were making an alloy smelter. Now we have everything to make the alloy smelter. We're going to need this to make the parts to the... For all the conduits. We'll just break that. Put the alloy smelter right there. Which this will start getting power. To make the energy conduit that we want to make, because we don't need a really powerful one, we're going to need conductive iron. To make conductive iron, we need redstone and iron. We're going to make six of them for now, and that should make enough. We'll get that making, and now we'll go back to fixing this. Because this is a mess. This right here. Oops. Oops! That's why you don't shift click, by the way. Because that was not what I wanted to do at all. Shift click to get rid of it. Thank you. I want to disconnect these two. Oh wow, it's extracting the charcoal out. That is not what I wanted it to do at all. Alright, there we go. Now we can take the wrench and pick this up. Because we're going to replace it over here. Look at the configures here. We want to push out this side. We want to pull in on this side. See, and that makes it a lot easier. With this done like this, in this sense, we can now go over here and make our energy conduits. Just sure gonna do that real quick. Hopefully 16 is enough. Because we're going to be connecting all our power to here. We're just going to add it to these current conduits. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! And we're just going to bring it on over right here. To connect to the alloy smelter. Hello there. Uh -oh. Thank you. So those should all be connected now. And actually, that means we don't need this one. Which means we didn't need to make more capacitors. <laughs> Wait. Maybe. 
I'm an idiot. We didn't need at least one more. Leave me alone. And, and they weren't capacitors in the first place. They were conduits. There we go. Everything should be connected now. Next, we need to set the filter right here to plant in a 3x3 grid and put the saplings in. So technically, this is a working machine. It's not that great looking. It is the basic. So what we're doing right now is these are powering the alloy smelter, the harvester, which is up there, and the planter, which then is sending oak to this barrel, which can be taken out and put over here. And this is sending charcoal right here, which is then being taken out and put in here. And what this is is, bleh, this is your basic power. This is going to end up fueling itself so much that you have excess power. Like if you look right here, we have excess power. That excess power is your starting power for your entire base until you can afford to go higher in tier. And that is exactly how you make your beginning charcoal farm. Is how we like to call it, charcoal power farm or whatever. And you can also speed it up by simply doing this. Because the twerking should still work on it. I don't know, I have my particles turned down. Ha 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 ha. But yes. When these grow, you'll have power and everything will be all fine and dandy. But that's it for basic power tutorial with Mini Kiona and little Noah and some cameos from Noah Jr. I'll catch y'all later. Thank you for watching. See ya.